do the painting and stuff, and we painted up that sign right there. And uh, we'll get a little different perspective. You could see the, the cars driving by over here today. And uh, I'm going to adjust the camera a little bit more. Sorry about that. But, yeah, so Dan, Dan's fantastic. I mean, it's such more than a wealth of knowledge with that man. Um, so he taught us how to paint. And um, painting is, is something that can be kind of scary. Uh, I, I, know, I know that some of my friends don't even like to touch a paintbrush. And um, I like to go after those things that other people are afraid to do. Because I think that there's opportunity there. So, and I like using good paint. So, um, this is an exterior paint. And um, it's Benjamin Moore. I've got Benjamin Moore. And... Um, I've got um, that company there, Sherwin Williams, and I like those those two companies because I think that they're some of the best paints that you can use. Um, and there's a lot of a uh, lot to be said about it. Now, one of the things that you do with paints, and I'm going to use these paints uh, to paint the horse and the the carousel animals. And uh, all I've got is some primary colors. I've got red, I've got yellow, I've got blue, um, and I've got a, a few others too. So at this point, I'm going to take you on a little tour around the shop just to show you some of the, the stuff that I work and play with. Um, so, you know, I've got the, uh, the paints and... Um, you know, I don't have everything as organized as I would like to, but I've got my primary colors. I've got white and black, and um, I've got a couple of shades of green, only because green's kind of, kind of, kind of a good color to buy it pre-mixed. But the primary colors are the are the primary things. The one thing that I do have, which I wanted to just point out, was um, this can right here, and. I'll take that out here. And on the top, you can't really see it because I've got a little rust left over from the summer. But it's a can of the base. This is the base that um, they mix the colors into. Uh, it's not white. Some of them are white. But imagine if you wanted to get like um, like a, a, a nice red. Let's say that you want, that went to a paint store and you wanted cranberry red. Well, Imagine what happens if you take red coloring and you put it into a white base. You're going to get like uh, cranberry pink. You're not going to get cranberry red. So what do they, they use for a base to mix those kind of colors in? Or, or suppose that you wanted some shade of uh, some kind of a black. Let's say that you wanted black with a little bit of blue mixed into it. Well, they don't start with a white base because if you put black into a white base, you get gray. So this is a clear base, and uh, that's what they do. It's kind of like Elmer's glue all. You know, it, it's uh, white in the tube, and then when you put it on something, it's all uh, clear. So I'm going to use this stuff, and I'm going to use my my uh, my base and my primary colors and and water, and I'm going to mix up all my own stuff to uh, go ahead and paint my uh, my animals yeah, so that's that's how that's all going to get done and um, just as a just as a little bit of an aside because uh, I'm all done talking about the carousel animals at this point um, this is something that I just finished up that uh, family plaque I'm going to post pictures of it on the forums here shortly and uh, there's an example on the wall, those, uh, those leaves are an example of just using those same cans of colors that I had right there and I just mixed up my, uh, my colors and I painted the leaves. Um, I didn't put one color and then another color, I mean that is, that's all done while, you know, the paint's wet, I mean I never, never let one color dry and then put another, it's just all done and uh, just splattered on the uh, the colors but that's gonna be it for today's episode of Leo's workshop so um, have a nice day and enjoy the shop
Bye-bye.